the channel welcome back to episode 5 of paris saint germain psg career mode soccer manager 2022 so as you all know we faced back-to-back -back losses in the champions league and the league one in this uh, episode before this but we had a good comeback by winning against marseille ajax and clemor mont in the next game so our next game is against i think next two games are i think difficult games with Lyon and Atletico Madrid being our next two opponent of course that ain't going to be easy I think Lyon are a very good team and uh, Atletico Madrid as you know they are like the reigning La Liga champions so it will be of course uh, difficult games for us but we will of course try our best to win so uh in real life, I uh, think um, Ramos is back to face Manchester City. Of course, he's not going to start because he has not played since so long. Uh, but I think he will be ready for like the 20-25 minutes. And Barca play Benfica. Uh, win will see us through. Uh, or loss will make us make it difficult for us. So. This is my lineup for the game, guys. Going to play with it that Guye and the Guye in this game. So this is my lineup for the game, guys. Donnarumma on goal, Hakimi on the right, Marquinhos, Ramos, Davies the remaining back line, Berati, Guye and Di Maria the midfield, Mbappe, Messi and Neymar up top. So let's hope we can get a win. They've got a very good team with Paqueta. I don't know why it is not loading. Denier, of course. Palmieri, Sakiri, Boating. So hoping to get the three points. And yeah, so let's go. So guys, um, let's talk about some real life football stops. Champions League is back tonight. So going towards Barca versus Benfica. When I upload this, I think Barca Benfica will be finished. But uh, I will be watching that. Uh, I think when I upload this, th that will be the game day. The match day of PSG versus City. So it will be interesting to see if PSG or City win any uh, if uh, win this game oh uh gumaria's player got red card so which will make the game open for us so let's see if we psg manage to get a win out of in in that game they will top i think if city get a win i think city will top so it will be interesting to see uh messi scores on the words of the halftime 44th minute no not going to make any change to the lineup he scored on the 44th minute giving us the lead which is awesome to see and boosting the morale before a very very crucial game in the champions league with atletico madrid coming up it will be and missy scores another one uh, on the 65th minute of the game so i think the three points are now uh, i think are on the bag so not worried at all yeah full time and we have just won the one against uh olympic leons uh 2-0 with messi scoring a brace on the 46th and 67th minute a very good win for us to like keep our level uh up the top let's see what's the league one table looking right right now because it will be interesting to see after the run we have been in right now i think we i think have won all of our last three games so uh interest i'm very excited to see how the pl table is looking right now so let's see the table guys uh wait a second league so we are actually of course top with two points clear lille and three points clear marseille so good to see that uh, of course um, we will have to win this league and if we don't as you know we will have to sell three of our key players in our next career mode journey so of course don't want that to happen so our next game is against atletico madrid in the champions league a game that i think we should be winning let's see their lineup um all black on goal savage felipe jimenez the back three Trippier, De Paul, Coque, Lorente, Hormoso, the midfield, Suarez and Griezmann up top. So my I'm I'm 
I've not made any I think uh, changes much changes because Wijnaldum and Verratti have their places Navas is back and I don't think and there is another change I have made so yeah let's see if we can get the win I think we have to get a win in this game so guys it's at home park this uh, princess so hoping to get a win in this game nothing else uh, than a win I think should be acceptable against a good side Atletico but I think we have got the team to get uh, the job done in this game um, so let's see the game is underway right now so uh, let's see uh, we have more shots but not a single on target got a shot on target high Wijnaldum and Hakimi get a yellow card I think the half time is going to be nil nil yes it has it's nil nil in the half time right now not going to any changes because I think the team is getting uh, well right now so and let's see if we can score in the second half um, um no goals 13 shots 4 on target 17 shots 18 shots 8 on target still no goal they have got 6 we have just scored neymar scores on the 76th minute and messi scores on the 82nd minute of the game neymar scores a brace on the 90th minute let's freaking go we have got the job done against atletico madrid we have got the job done against Atletico Madrid in the group stage of the Champions League so I think let's it will be interesting right now to see what our Champions League table is looking right because of course um, after this win I think we have pretty much secured our um, first place but uh, Ajax and Atalanta I don't know what are they doing right now so it will be interesting to see continental cups and uh, yes we are top right now with atalanta and uh, with seven points second place atletico with six on the third and ajax with only just a point sitting last in the table so quite interesting that uh, ajax have not done that well let's do some training stops right now next game is against i think nance that team is nance i think uh, just going to see mm. um so yeah it is nance so recently they met in real life too and messi opened his league one account I'm going to make some changes guys because Berati is injured so this is my lineup for the game uh, Navas on goal, Davis, Ramos, Marquinhos, Hakimi the back line, Porreira, Wijnaldum, Di Maria the midfield and of course Messi, Neymar and Mbappe up top our former player Rafinha is playing against us so see you guys in the full time because it's a league one game so yeah see you guys in the full time and hoping to get a three points out of this game on the game against Nance 3 1. So, good way. I think uh, Messi scored a brace and Di Maria scored the other one and they scored a late one. Uh, yeah, I was correct. Messi scored two and Di Maria scored once. Good win. Uh, and we keep on moving forward in the League One because I just want to wrap it up by uh, January because after January, the focus I think should be all on the champions league round of 16 for the finals semi-finals and the finals so we have to keep on progressing and progressing and progressing and give them the ultimate goal give them what they need because uh after the qatari foundation uh, took over they have won i think every single trophy except for that champions league trophy so of course i want to do that right here so let's uh, see what's um, um who is our player of the month uh, it's three nominees and that is Lionel messi di maria and kylian mbappe it will be interesting to see who is i think it's going to be messi so let's see and yes my prediction was right it's messi oh no oh no oh no the club medical staff have confirmed that Verratti will miss a significant period of rehabilitation following his recent injury 
so 11 weeks he will be out for 11 weeks oh no he will be directly back in january oh shit oh no he's one of the important players of our squad and broken ankle he is out for 11 weeks he is genuinely is literally out for 11 weeks i don't know what to do uh, we lack options in that midfield but i think now we have to cope without Berati. so yeah frustrated with the news that he's out he's freaking out for 11 months he will not be playing any sort of football for next 11 weeks sorry i said 11 months but it's 11 weeks but that's also a long long period of time for a footballer i think it's nearly three months nearly three months it's like three months one week less like seriously he's generally out for three weeks Ele uh, sorry 11 weeks so of course we have to move forward he uh variety will be back when he is fit now wijnaldum is also injured but he's just injured for one day this is my lineup for the game guys um Namas on goal, Hakimi, Kimpembe, Ramos, Davies, the back line. Der Marquinhos playing in that midfield. Pereira, Draxler, the midfield. And Messi, Neymar, Mape up top. So, see you guys in the full time. And uh, let's see if we can get the win. Because we have to keep on moving forward in the league one. So, yeah, let's hope we can get a win and see you in the full time. Another match and simple victory or routine victory for us in the league one. Lionel Messi scoring one and uh, Neymar scoring a brace so good win against saint 18 so we keep on moving forward and forward and forward no other options for us <laughs> i am actually still frustrated that verratti will be out for 11 months he will be out for the next 11 weeks i'm just keep on constantly saying months sorry for that but it's weeks but still that is a significant period of time is out for the next 11 weeks and he's one of the important players in the midfield i think in that city game in real life i'm talking about real life when uh, uh, city, sorry psg won against city i think verati played a fundamental part and in this series too he's playing a very very fundamental part i think so uh, next game is against Mets and uh, of course let's see what our team does in this one going to see you in that full time no i'm just going to do a live commentary in this one i don't know why but i my mood changed so uh, this is my lineup for the game navas on goal davis ramos marquinhos hakimi the back line porera wijnaldum di maria the midfield neymar messi mbappe up top so hoping to get a win in this game or routine victory in this game so yeah let's go So guys, um, I'm very nervous right now that if Barca will or will not win the game against Benfica tonight, very, very afraid that if we don't win, it will be difficult for us to qualify for the next round. And I don't want my team, uh, I don't want my team uh, who I support getting knocked out in the group stage itself of the Champions League. So it will be interesting to see what uh, will Chabi do so going to make some changes going to give this guy his debut Ebimbe and not many not on the changes going to bring on Guye for Di Maria and Wijnaldum playing in that AMC role so hoping to score some goals still nil nil guys still nil nil forgot, forgot to tell you guys that it's still nil nil hope we can get the win yes mbappe scores and danilo Pereira scores 51 minutes 53 minute quick two goals giving us two nil lead and just after the break uh nice to see awesome to see so next game is against atalanta in the champions league and if we win that i think it's um like next round plays sure for uh, like the championship round of 16 so we have just won the game against mets two nil so let's go let's freaking go because uh, it was important it was uh, important for our morale before that important and crucial champions league game am up with the man of the match no doubt so um next games against atalanta will be the last one in this episode guys and don't forget to subscribe um 
to the channel uh it's still like 50 percent of you watching my video are not subscribed so please please help the channel grow and next game is against atalanta a big one it's away of course uh, uh champions league away games are never an easy task so it will be interesting that how our team does in this one because i'm not afraid of this because the team we have got i think should be getting a routine victory against atalanta no disrespect to atalanta but i think the team we have got is just fantastic not going to make any changes donnarumma will play this game so yeah this is my lineup for the game against a very crucial games uh in the atlanta donnarumma, donnarumma on goal hakimi marquinhos ramos davis the back line donnarumma porera di maria the midfield mbappe messi name are up top so last time when we faced them we lost 3-0 with Immobile scoring a brace. So this time I don't want that to happen and hope when we when the full time whistle blows we are there with three points on our back. So yeah, let's go. So um the game is going to get underway in some time, guys. So let's see how our team does in this one. It will be interesting to see what our team does. So the game has just begun and they are already dominating the shots on target. With four, we have also got a shot on target right now, but we have got more shots dominating the position, which is what I like to see. So uh, let's see what uh, uh, yeah, we have just scored. Great to see Mbappe score just before the half time, giving us a crucial lead in going into that half time. Going to being on carer for Hakimi because. Hakimi looks uh, exhausted in that stamina. So uh, this will be the last game of this episode, guys. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this episode. Um, that it was quite sad to hear the news about Verratti being out for next 11 weeks. So, of course, uh, when he will be back, he will be helping out the team. But right now, our focus is on this game. And can we get the job done? And yes, we have got the job done with Mbappe scoring one and giving us a 1-0 win against Atalanta who defeated us 3-0 in that reverse fixtures in our home so defeating them was quite an awesome feeling so hope you guys enjoyed today's episode don't forget to like share and subscribe and make that non 50% not subscribe 100% subscribed See you guys in the next one. Nothing else to say. Hope you have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Have a great day. Nothing else to say. See you guys in the next one. And yeah, peace.